Hey guys, um, a while back, you know, I did a video on this game, great game, um, well, yesterday I picked up one in the box for 25 bucks, and here's the box of coffee, um, it's in pretty good shape, except, uh, on the top part here, it's like a little, like, like, kind of looks like someone probably stepped on it a little bit or something, but, um, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. It's got the manual and everything. I mean, um, and even in the manual, it advertised the hint book that I didn't even know about for six bucks. I didn't order the hint book for it, though. I thought, like, throwing Nintendo Power or something would help you out with that. But, um, here's my copy, and it says, just to rewind, please rewind. Thanks. The end. Uh, it's kind of hard to rewind a video game unless you, like, reset it or something, but anyways, I found a little difference from the cartridge I have and the one the box copy, and that's the top of these games. As you can see, this top one, my my first copy, it, the text is yellow, and in here it's orange, so that's just a weird difference I had, and my box is yellow, has yellow text too, so that's pretty weird. But I'm going to play this box copy. This is going to be the first time I played this copy of it. Um, let's see how it works. Uh, okay, it actually works pretty good. It actually, actually, actually wasn't all that hard to start up, but okay. Once again, I have to make it so you can see the screen. So, here we go. Wow, it actually starts up pretty good, though. Okay, everything but file 3 is a new file, so I'm going to start here. New file. I like the music, I mean... I have the music on MP3, so... Let's see if I can remember how to get through this game, because I... I mean, I've completed this game like a million times. Oh, uh, well... I took the code. Wow. An actual gun, not every day you see that in a Nintendo game. Alright. I'm gonna take this coin. I'm take the coins. I'm gonna open my wallet here. You're gonna need everything but the $20. Now, I forgot, I don't think I showed you this in the Nintendo version, but hold on, I'll show you in a sec, but... Okay, so if you try to open the store, and you try to walk out, you feel like you've missed something in the room. In other words, you have to look in the mirror here. You see, um, in the computer versions, you don't have to look in the mirror, you just walk out of the room, but in the Nintendo versions, they have, they feel the need to make it do that. I don't know. Uh, I didn't really talk much about this game in my last video. Uh, like I said, music's great. I'd give it a 4 out of 5. I mean, it get a bit repetitive, but it, I mean, it's still great music. It's also it's great jazzy music. Fits the game. This is my favorite song. Um, and, um, the graphics are actually pretty good for NES, I mean, I would expect a tad bit more color, but, I mean, it, I guess it's good enough, it's nothing that, that's like, you know, it's, it's not something that shouldn't be seen to the light of day, but, I mean, I would expect a little bit of improvements on the graphics, but, 
Nice arcade, so I'll give him a 4 out of 5. Controls, well, sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard to navigate through all this stuff, because, you know, instead of a mouse, you got a controller, but still, I mean, it's like a pretty easy-to-use interface, so I guess, I guess it's not all that bad. I'll give it that a 4 out of 5, too. Um, so, game, yeah, controls give a 4 out of 5. Um, yeah. Uh, you don't have to do it in the computer versions, but you have to take the bill in here and examine it to get an address. When you go in the cab, you have to tell them where to go, and, that's, and you have to have it in your address book. Now, in the um, oops, in the computer versions, you can just type it in if you know the address. But So see, there you go, it's added to my address book. Um, let's take or it's use or in the computer version to operate my key on the door. And here's the dead body of Joey Siegel. Now in the computer version, so there's blood on the table and stuff, but they removed the blood from this version, but So, take the key, and I'll open this guy, and in the computer version it says open the corpse, but I guess they thought it was too violent. Um, So yeah, this game takes place in Chicago in December 1941. I don't know why it's not snowing, but... Um, oh god, what do I do? I think I go up. Do I? Yep, that's right. Okay. Open this window here. And... and there's the electric chair right there. And then one other thing that Nintendo censored is in the computer version. These are supposed to, the capsules are really it's really supposed to be a syringe, but I guess Nintendo thought that was too violent, so although I have seen a Saren in a Super Nintendo game, but oh well. Now and speaking of Super Nintendo, I, I would have loved to see this game in Unbutted and Shadowgate on Super Nintendo. I mean, it's knowing that Super Nintendo had a mouse, I mean, it would have looked better in the music. You know, I can just imagine what the music would sound like, but. Whoops, I have to use it. Whoops. Anyways, that's about it for this game. It's a really fun game, though. If you see a copy of this in the store, you should, you know, buy it. I mean, it's just, it's an unbelievably great game. Now, if, if you can't find an NES copy of this, but you got a Windows machine. There's a DOS version, there's a Windows version, there's an Atari ST version, and there's the original Apple version, and there's a Commodore 64 version. My profile picture is from the Commodore 64 version, which has the worst graphics. And it was also on the Commodore Amiga. But, um, so that's, that's about it for this game. Great game, though. I give it a 4 out of 5. You know, just to a few sensors and a few other things, you know, that I mentioned. Um, but not, great game. You, I mean, you should definitely try this game out. So, that's it for now. Um, oh yeah, one, one last problem before I end this video. The only thing is that after you complete this game a few times, you start to go like, ah, you know, I don't want to play this anymore, and you just drop the game, and you, it's as if you've never, you know, Play the game, you, know, you just forget about it because you know it's gotten so repetitive. You don't want to play it anymore. So maybe I'll make a video on the um, DOS and uh, Windows version. I've made videos on the Windows version, but I haven't reviewed it. But anyways, thanks for watching. Try this game out, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.